Hey, it's Jack, Ollie's TV. Um, Bob of Four leads one. Um, I didn't expect it to win, but you know, the capitulation, the just no fight. I mean, I've been saying it for a few weeks now, so I'm, it's just going to be a short one because <clears throat> what more can you say now? There's, there's not, they didn't write a lot you can say is that, you know, I think the, the fans down there today have said that all is need to be said. And have sung it, you're not fit to wear the shirt, and they're not. And it's as simple as that. The players are just they're not. <clears throat> I mean, I'm trying to. I'm not. There's not. There's not obviously nothing positive, but you've seen I've just been a bit down and that. But I'm just like I'm. I'm resigned to the facts that you know after all them years of trying to get there, three years on the third season of being in this league, all the hard work does being put in place to try and keep us as a Premier League side has been undone completely by a board of Rajasani, Orton and Kinnear who are just inept and it's as simple as that you know they've just made the wrong decision after wrong decision after wrong decision and you know I think I said it in my last video today you know Rajasani's put all his trust in in order to get players in that are going to make us a better side. And if anything, he's probably, he's actually one of the worst sides I think I've seen for a long time at any level, at any level. But how I'm looking at this now is, you know, let's just, reality is, I know obviously it's not mathematical, you know, and we're still, if I mean, it's Leicester Everton play each other. I mean, a draw is the ideal result for us. But you look at his next game, it's Man City and Newcastle. You know, it's not it's not looking good, is it? It's not. And you can be as optimistic and as positive as you want. I mean, I've just I'm just having a bit of a joke with mate there. He said you want to get hundred hundred quid on record score ever in Premier League next week against Man City. And as that it seems, it's probably worth a punt because it could be that way, the way that we defend, you know, it's I see it's if you don't smile, you'll cry, won't you? It's that bad. It's just that bad. As I said, no fight. Spineless. It's just... They're just not fit to wear the shirt, and it's as simple as that. They're not. They're not. I don't think there's... Can I... Is there an, an, any analysis of that game? Apart from Melier as just whatever he's turned into, I just don't know. McKenny, again, what what does he actually offer? What does he actually bring to the team? Rocker, just he's whatever he is. I know everyone were clambering for Willie today and wanting him on, but you know whether Bournemouth had the tactics right to keep him out of the game, he didn't really get involved that much. I know he set up Bamford's goal at Belling Cross. He probably should have had one himself. Um, but all in all, the team is not good enough. The club as a whole is not good enough for the Premier League. I just think it's just, it, it's, 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 there's something poisonous going on at that club. And as I said, whatever happened at half time in that dressing room against Crystal Palace has completely and utterly derailed what chance we had. And that's that's how I'm looking at it. So it's just never been right since that half time against Crystal Palace. And obviously the rumours are about it with Rocker and McKenny. Again, I'm just saying that they are rumours, but they are strong rumours. You know, them two going at each other and changing room. And I don't think anything's been right since. I mean, people are now screaming, sack Gracia, sack him, sack him. And I'm like, what? what's the point? What's the point? We might, you know... You're not going to bring anyone in when your next game's Man City and your next game's Newcastle. Your next game after that, you're not going to bring anyone in who's available that is going to stop two defeats and probably two possible embarrassing hammerings, which is it's looking very likely when on on the way that we're defending at the minute. <clears throat> so for me, this is how I'm looking at it now. You know, the only I'm just looking, you know, back to championship. Um, 
and just try and rebuild from scratch. And that to me means everything. It's, it, it means like the board, it means everything. It's, it just needs a complete and utter wholesale change of how this club is run and how it's looked after, just looked after and, and what is the best interest. You know, I think it's always stuck in my head after when they were after Brentford game last year when um, Rajasani gave it all this big spiel. I won't let this happen again. This cannot happen again. It's not possible. And blah blah blah. And if oh, it's worse this year than it was last year. In fact, it, it, it is worse. It is worse. It's a lot worse. As I said, I, I don't, there's there's nothing really now to say is it you know I just all I want to say is I just feel so sorry for you know I I, I have been going to many away games a minute and now if I'd obviously done that trip down to Bournemouth I know a load of lads who went down just for weekend just for crack you know big Leeds fans and because they just love the club you know this they just love the club like we all do but we are not being treated right by the people that are running this club we deserve better we don't. We deserve better than than this. Nothing that we're seeing every week, and it is. It's just literally nothing. There's nothing. I mean, this this shirt I've got on there. That's the first badge. That's the old the old badge. Um, that's it's just actually I just shoved it on like it's not. I am putting this on as a a thing, but you know, it, this is when it first started, and it just feels like that we are having to restart now. I think that's what we've got to look at. We've got to restart. And we've got to look at building for the year and for next year in the championship. I think that's what we've got to look at. And I think a lot of them players now have to go. It has to be a wholesale change. It has to be a massive, massive change and get rid of some of these, you know, what I, I call them mercenaries. They are, because they'll go in somewhere and they'll move on somewhere else and still be getting the 20s, 50s, 70s, whatever, thousand pounds a week. And Leeds United will be just a, a little blip in their memory. But at the end of the day, Legion is there for life for us, and that's why it hurts us. These players, it don't it don't matter them. Um as I said, I don't I haven't really got much to say today. You know, I think last couple of, I mean, I'd just be repeating myself what I've said in my last couple of videos, you know. The spineless, they've no fight. I just don't they don't they just they don't get what it means to Leeds. And today the fans have hit the nail on the head at the end of the game and sung, you're not fit to wear the shirt. And that's all I've got to say. But enjoy the rest of your bank holiday week. I know it's going to be shy. And remember, we've got Man City away to look forward to next week. <laughs> that could be interesting, couldn't it? Anyway, all the best. Go again. <laughs>